Hello, and welcome to this Experian Hitwise Christmas webinar. My name's James Murray. I'm the Marketing Research Analyst here at Experian Hitwise. And today, I'm going to be taking you through some of the latest online retail trends in the run-up to Christmas 2011. Just to remind you, this is the second of our trilogy of Christmas webinars, which we've been running across the festive season this year. We kicked off the trilogy back in November with our predictions of what was going to happen in December. This is the second part which will concentrate on what's happened so far online and also what you can do ahead of the post-Christmas sales. The final part of our trilogy will be on the 6th of January at noon and will give you a comprehensive overview and summary of Christmas 2011. If you haven't already, be sure to sign up for that and you can find a link on our Hitwise UK homepage. So back in November, we made some predictions about what was going to happen in online retail over December, and I thought it would be a good idea to see how things are tracking so far against our predictions. We said that for December 2011, there was going to be 2.1 billion visits from the UK internet population going straight to retail websites, and that the UK was going to spend 350 million hours shopping online this Christmas. So far, we're three weeks in and we've seen 1.3 billion visits to retail websites and some 216 million hours spent shopping online. Clearly, that means that we're still some way short with 800 million visits and 135 million hours still to go. And there's quite a lot which has got to happen between now and New Year's Eve. Having said that, we know that the post-Christmas sales are always very busy online and particularly we're expecting the biggest Boxing Day ever for retail visits this year, so there's still plenty of time for our predicted quota to be fulfilled. Let's take a look at what happened so far online. We predicted in our November webinar that Cyber Monday would be the biggest pre-Christmas shopping day of 2011, with 85 million internet visits going to retail websites on that day. Now, there was a lot of press hype about the biggest pre-Christmas shopping days being Black Friday and Mega Monday, but it's important to understand that these are specific retail days which tie into American holidays around Thanksgiving. Black Friday being the first day after Thanksgiving and the start of the online shopping season in the States. In the UK, it's all about Cyber Monday, which is the first Monday of December. This year, we saw 73 million visits to retail websites on Black Friday, but 84.6 million visits on Cyber Monday a new record for pre-Christmas shopping online. This year's Cyber Monday was big. In fact, there were 18% more visits to retailers on Cyber Monday this year than in 2010. So who is reaping the benefits of this additional online traffic? What I've done here is look at the fastest moving websites which saw the greatest increase in internet visits between Cyber Monday this year and last year. The key points to take away here are that eBay was doing much better this year online than it was last year. eBay ran a publicity stunt where they opened a high street store on Oxford Street and encouraged people to scan QR codes with their mobile devices in order to buy gifts, which is why we've seen a big increase in traffic going to eBay's mobile website. Asda has also seen an increase in online activity, capitalising on the fact that people will be shopping more on Cyber Monday as they encouraged users to do their grocery shopping earlier than the rest of the industry, which generally sees a spike in traffic much later in December. Finally, there is a group here of reward sites offering discounts and vouchers for bargain hunters, and certainly this has been a big feature of pre-Christmas shopping this year. I just wanted to hone in on the rewards category, as this is clearly a big driver of traffic to online retailers, and understanding which channel is going to give you the most bang for your buck is going to influence who you decide to partner with online. What I've done here is take the top representative from each of the rewards subcategories. So Groupon is the biggest social group buying website in the UK. Um, Hot UK Deals is the number one voucher website. Quidco is the biggest cashback website and Shopzilla is the number one shopping price comparison site in the UK. On the left hand side, here I've wanted to show where those websites are delivering traffic online and primarily we're interested in what proportion of traffic has been driven to retailers. What's interesting is that over 60% of all visits leaving Quidco 
go directly to a retail website, compared to Groupon, which is much closer to 20%. Now, it's important to take into account the relative size of these websites, and on the right-hand side here, I've indicated how big these websites are compared to one another. You can see that Quidco is the smallest of the four websites in terms of total internet visits. But having said that, even though it's smaller, the traffic leaving Quidco is much more likely to end up on a retail website than the competition. Now, these results are just an indication of what can happen online. It's not going to be the same across the board, and certain affiliates are definitely going to be more suited to different industries. But this is a good example of how you can use Hitwise to compare affiliates and identify the best channel to use for your brand. One of the nice things about working for Experian is we can take different data sets from other parts of the business and compare them to create more detailed insights. Here, I've used data from our sister company, Footfall, which measures online footfall on the high street and in big shopping centres, completing the retail picture to see how online and offline shopping differ. The first thing you'll notice is that high street footfall has its regular peak on Saturdays, which corresponds with the lowest day of the week for online traffic. Online traffic, on the other hand, has its regular peaks on Mondays. So far, the trend for offline shopping has been a general increase, and that's set to continue right up until Christmas Eve, which is the last Saturday before Christmas. Online, you can see traffic steadily increases to a peak on Cyber Monday, before starting to drop off in the following weeks in the lead up to Christmas. Generally speaking, the closer we get to Christmas, the less likely people are to shop online as delivery deadlines get tighter and tighter. One of the things we've observed over the years is that those retailers that can guarantee delivery before Christmas, later into December, are more likely to continue to receive traffic as the month progresses. However, the overarching trend is traffic peaks online on Cyber Monday, and as we get closer and closer to Christmas, the unorganised shoppers, myself included, are forced to shop on the high street to get their gifts in time for Christmas. That's why this year we're predicting a particularly strong footfall on Christmas Eve, as it happens to fall on a Saturday, and people will be rushing around in a mad frenzy getting their last minute shopping. So what were the top gifts that people were searching for this year on Cyber Monday, which we now know was the busiest pre-Christmas shopping day of the year. I've compared this with last year's data and there are a few key trends to highlight from these lists. First off, we can see that the Amazon Kindle is much more popular this year than last year, rising from 14th place in 2010 to second place this year. What's also interesting is that even though the Kindle Fire won't be available in the UK until sometime next year, it was still the 19th most searched for product on Cyber Monday. Secondly, winter shoes like Ugg boots and Hunter wellies were less popular this year than last year. This year, of course, the weather has been a lot milder than last year, and if you cast your mind back, there was a lot of snow last December which made consumers want to buy warmer footwear. Lastly, if we look at some of the generic searches from last year, watches have become more popular than lingerie, although both were more searched for this year than last December. We know from looking at historical data just how much of an impact weather can have on consumer purchasing habits. We've already seen how winter footwear was less prominent this year, but I wanted to highlight how this affects not just search behaviour, but also visits to key retailers. Here, I've charted visits to clogs.co.uk, one of the top recipients of traffic for UGG and Hunter Welly searches. And I've also charted Halfords, which received a lot of traffic for searches for snow chains during the heavy snowfall. So you can see here that Halford saw a 38% increase in visits to its website in the two weeks at the peak of the snowy weather last year, which was around the second and third week of December. But year on year, visits to the Halford's website are currently down by 20% from where they were last year, and that's basically because the weather hasn't been nearly as severe this December. Similarly, Clog saw peaks in traffic earlier in the wind season but year on year, traffic has decreased by 21%. Now that just about wraps up our summary of what's happened so far this Christmas, 
And now the remainder of the webinar will be looking ahead at what we can expect to happen over the next few weeks and how you can capitalise on the key moments in the festive season. So what do we have to look forward to in the coming weeks? Well, we've already seen this year that the 5th of December, Cyber Monday, was the biggest pre-Christmas shopping day with 85 million visits to retailers. We are also predicting a bumper Boxing Day this year with 95 million UK internet visits to retailers, which will be the biggest single day for online retail ever witnessed. In the run-up to Boxing Day, we are also expecting these days here to be key times to capitalise on social media traffic. Last year, Facebook became the most visited website in the UK on Christmas Day, and over 24 million hours were spent on Facebook by UK internet users that day. This year, we're expecting a lot of social media activity between the 22nd and 25th of December, so this is a great channel to promote your post-Christmas sales. Then, after Boxing Day, on the 27th of December, this is when we're expecting a big rush online to grocery and alcohol websites in preparation for New Year's Eve parties. One of the other trends we've seen over the last few years is people are searching for post-Christmas sales earlier and earlier each year. Retailers are starting to respond to this demand by promoting and holding their sales earlier, but you can see from last year's data that at the peak of search demand, nearly 1% of all searches conducted in the UK contain the word sale or sales. The uplift in sales searches begins in the week preceding Christmas week, so now is the perfect time to start bidding on PPC campaigns for your top sales search terms to ensure to get the most traffic possible. This word cloud is quite a nice representation of how people search for sales online. You can see immediately that the most popular sales are for the big department stores, so the likes of Next, Debenhams, John Lewis and M&S. But there are also generic search terms out there, like Boxing Day sales, that are very popular in the build-up to the post-Christmas shopping period. I wanted to finish today's webinar by just looking at the changing trends in traffic coming to the retail industry. Comparing upstream visits to retail for November 2010 and November 2011, we can see that the industry is relying more on search this year than last year, and that more visits are coming from other shopping sites, which indicates people are browsing between competing retailers more than ever before. More visits are coming from the entertainment category, and that's a product of the growth of online video, which is becoming a very prominent channel in online advertising this year. But social media remains the third biggest source of traffic for the industry, and although it hasn't grown much year on year, almost 8% of all visits to retail websites will come from a social network this Christmas. If we look at a more granular level at which industries are most reliant on social traffic, we can see that auction websites and video and games websites are consistently the industries that depend on social media to deliver traffic. 13% of all visits to auction websites, like eBay, come from social networks and forums. If you look in December, however, the purple line, which represents the online fashion retailers, is the one which shows the greatest upturn in growth. So these are the retailers that really harness social media over Christmas, and it's worth looking at how the top fashion retailers interact with their customers on social networks in order to encourage brand loyalty and increased visits. And just to highlight that last point further, this is a look at the top retailers relying on Facebook traffic over Christmas last year. You can see that it's the fashion retailers, so Topshop, River Island and ASOS, that are getting the highest proportion of their traffic from Facebook. Indeed, a couple of days before Christmas, Topshop was receiving over 20% of all of its visits from Facebook. These are the brands that you want to try and emulate in terms of social strategy. What offers do they make on Facebook? How do they engage their customers? What tone do they adopt in their communications? These are all really useful things that you can glean from the current market leaders and fold into your own social media strategy. So that's it for this Christmas webinar. A few of the key takeaways which I've spoken about today. Firstly, we're on track for the biggest Christmas ever online. So far we've seen 1.3 billion visits to retailers and 216 million hours spent shopping online in the UK. We've seen record visits for Cyber Monday, and it was 18% bigger this year than last year, which shows some extraordinary growth in online retail. 
Boxing Day we're expecting to be the biggest retail day of 2011 and in fact furthermore we're expecting that to be the biggest retail day ever seen online with 95 million visits predicted on Boxing Day as consumers shop online and browse for bargain deals. Finally social media traffic is going to be very strong in the run-up to Christmas Looking at last year's data, we know that social media is very prevalent between the 22nd and 25th of December, and it makes it the ideal channel to promote your post-Christmas sales. Auctions and video game sites are the ones which are going to be relying on social traffic the most, but it's the fashion retailers that you really want to watch and see how they're engaging their consumers online. Don't forget that our final Christmas webinar will be on the 6th of January, when the trilogy will be completed. We'll be posting lots of retail updates over the Christmas period on our blog and on Twitter. And so you can follow us at, at hitwise underscore UK um, and follow the blog on the Hitwise website. Thanks for listening and I hope you have a great Christmas.